So today we're taking a look at Arcmodo. This is ticker symbol FUV and the stock is down considerably. You can see that even in the past year, we've currently been making since late January, this kind of pattern right here, this trend line that finally broke just a couple of days ago. What does this mean? What well, typically means from a technical standpoint that the stock may be headed lower. So today we're going to focus on three things, exactly where the stock can go and how it got here in the first place. Just a brief technical understanding of exactly what's going on with the stock, but second, we have to understand what can the company do to kind of turn this around. I'm not talking about a considerable bounce, yes, nonetheless, from about $4.50 all the way to $7.90, which is basically like a 70% rally, but I'm talking an even bigger bounce, getting out of the sub 10s, back into the teens, and potentially even heading higher from a stock price perspective. What does this company need to do? And why is the stock price selling off this much so we can resolve that problem and start moving forward once again for our Komodo? And I want to kind of preface this video by saying that you are not alone. In fact, this company just in the past month, yes, it sounds like it's a lot, it's down 38%, and that is a lot. But in the past year, it's still down 57%, but in the past five years, it's down 20%. What's my point here? Well, it means that basically anybody that bought this stock, even back in 2020, is likely down on this stock. That means before COVID, before the whole EV boom, almost everybody that bought this stock lost money. And that's simply the truth right now. So understand that if you do have Arcmodo stock, you are down as well as the rest of the community. So you are not alone. Now, just to kind of it just adds insult to injury. Tesla stock, which is kind of the bellwether, a, a stock that a lot of people look at, is up 44% in the past year. That means that not only is it outperforming the rest of the EV space, the whole EV sector, but also the rest of the stock market. So that really just kind of hurts more. If you're taking a look at the bellwether, kind of the pinnacle of that space or of a certain industry, and then you take a look at your stock, and it's doing horribly in comparison. So today we're going to understand why is Arcmodo here? How did it get here so we can know how to resolve that problem and understand what landmarks they need to hit so we can move forward? Well, it's summarized quite well here by Seeking Alpha, and this is pretty commonly known by investors, but let's go over it very quickly. With cash running low, dilution appears to be straight ahead. In fact, they cite that as of March 31st, cash was down to just $7.2 million. Now, how much does this mean? What does it represent for a company like Arcmodo? Well, taking a look at their full year 2020 financial results for the year ended December 31st of 2021, the company had about $17 million in cash and cash equivalents as of uh, Q4. So this means that basically in one quarter, three months between the end of December to the end of March, they burned about $10 million, 9.8 million to be exact, according to their filings. What does it mean? Well, it means that currently, with a $10 million cash burn per quarter, we don't have enough to even last one more quarter based off on our cash position. Therefore, a lot of the stock is being kind of pressured and sold off, you know, pressured to the downside, just because people are looking ahead, seeing that dilution is inevitable. They need to raise cash. I mean, yesterday, they have to find different public or private ways of raising that capital very quickly. And so therefore, all rallies are unsustained. They're convictionless. They just sell back off, even if the stock market is green. It's because the longer we wait, the more cash they're going to have to raise and the harder it's going to be to actually raise it. So you can take a look at analyst ratings, kind of the sentiment on this stock, and you'll see that all across the board, people tend to be bearish and a lot of people are selling off this stock. So what can they do aside from just raising capital via the public markets by diluting shareholders to kind of turn this around? Well, they've talked about this numerous times, but the ATVM loan program right here, ATVM loan appears to be at the center of a holistic funding approach envisioned by management. They're taking a look at this right here, the Advanced Technology Vehicle Manufacturing Loan Program, a government entity just kind of here to fund new off-the-cuff advanced technologies for vehicles to kind of help fund them. And in fact, the program has already given out about $8 billion worth of loans for projects across the board since inception. They have about $17.7 billion left in loan authority, so they have a lot, and I mean a lot, of money that they could give out. However, one of the big issues for the ATVM loan program is that they need to see that the company is sustainable, their, uh, you know, their current cash burn, or just the finances of the company are sustainable without the ATVM loan program being a part of it. That means that you shouldn't have to rely on their loan program or else you're too high highly likely to default therefore they don't want to loan to you so that's one of the issues that the more time goes on the less likely they can really get the this atvm loan program unless they can get different forms of financing 
So really, people are looking at the stock and they're taking a look at the market cap. They're saying, OK, we have a $10 million cash burn per quarter, about 40 million per year, a current market capitalization of $170 million. That means that even if they raise 40 million, just 40 million, that's going to dilute me 20 percent of our current market capitalization for just one year's worth of run rates. Now, it may sound like a long time, but 25 percent is a pretty big hit to take just so the company can survive another year based off of previous and historic historic cash burn. This means that people are selling off the stock and I believe they're actually pricing in a lot of that sell off. That means that if they do end up raising capital and we do get that news that they raise cash, yes, it's bad news for shareholders and at face value, the stock should go down. But I think that because we've priced it in so much, likely the stock will go up. So I believe it's actually going to be very good news if the company finally announces that they're raising capital, not just from potentially the public markets, but also hopefully from another private entity, whether it's the ATVM loan or somebody just buying stake in the company or supporting them. Now, I'd like to say I've made a video and to be completely transparent, I don't own any Arkimoto stock. In fact, I said, I'm not buying Arkimoto stock. Here's why. This was my most recent video and I simply don't like the company anymore. I think there are much better investments out there. And I've made it very clear that my biggest investment is Tesla. But even with that said, being my highest conviction company, that being Tesla, I have certain metrics, certain milestones and goals that they have to hit, or I will sell out. What does that mean? Well, it means that, for example, if they can't hit full self-driving, solve it or make meaningful progress in the next few years, I'll reconsider my position and potentially sell some or all of my stake in Tesla. That means that for all investments, you as an investor, an investor is a job. It's something you have to be active about. You have to look at this company and say, what are milestones and goals that they need to hit or I will sell out? Whether it's 10,000 units by 2024, 20,000 by 2023, whatever your goals are, stick to them, write them down, keep yourself honest. Because if the company can't hit those milestones and goals that you have set for them, then simply it's probably not worth your hard earned cash or your time even keeping up with the company. So let's make that clear. But can they turn this around? Let's talk about it. Well, with the stock price going ever lower, it's going to be harder and harder for them to really raise capital. But keep in mind, if they do manage to even raise, you know, 10 million, 20 million, 30 million dollars, I think the stock will likely have a bounce. And then hopefully that'll allow them to kind of you know, even sell more, sell some more shares. They've gotten access from shareholders in the past and already to have access to just kind of sell shares whenever they want. So that means that they have a lot of shares that they could sell. And that's a good thing. As for the ATVM loan program, I don't think they're going to be approved for a loan from the ATVM program anytime soon, especially considering their waning cash position, the fact that their stock price is only ever getting lower, and that they're, you know, down 22% in the past five years since inception or the IPO of the company. I think the ATVM loan program is going to look at their uh, cash burn, say this is too high based off of your current cash position, you'd be relying on our loan and we're not going to loan out to you. Now, could that change? Could they kind of ramp up, scale up production of their Arkimoto's and do very well and then the ATVM loan co comes in? Yes, that would only, you know, further accelerate their growth. And that'd be a very good thing. But in terms of near term, short term, within the next even couple of years, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think the ATVM loan program is going to come in and kind of bail them out. That's how I would describe it. And that's exactly why they wouldn't go through with it. So my take on Arc Moda right now, whether it's a buy or a sell, let's make that clear. It's kind of neither. I would say that if you're holding the stock, it's already down so much, there's no point selling out. The risk is the same as it was a year ago. It's only really intensified. There's simply just more risk. There's not different risks. It was basically boom or bust. Either the company makes it or they don't. It's a very intense industry. So if you're holding right now and the stock is breaking down, I wouldn't say sell. I but I also certainly wouldn't say buy. You're seeing right now a breakdown of this trend line. You can always wait for it to pop back upside and see some positive fundamental developments in the company and then add. I would say right now with this breakdown of this major level right here, as well as these 2020 lows, the next considerable uh, support that we see on the chart is $2.70 per share. That means that we have a considerable downside to go from a technical standpoint. Now, will we see that price? I don't personally think so unless the company fails to raise enough cash and the company just downtrends and eventually goes bankrupt. So I think we're not going to see those prices, but 
We could see three. We could see 350. We could see $4 per share once again. So don't buy is my advice, but also don't sell if you own some shares, unless if you own more than you are comfortable losing. This is an incredibly risky, not just industry, but also business within that risky industry. So understand your own cash position, your own personal finances, and see whether or not you're willing to lose that capital. That's it for my video. If you guys liked it, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe for any future coverage of Arcmodo. I will be covering as soon as the ATVM loan either is denied or approved or any kind of capital is announced. You know, whether they're raising from the public or private markets, I will announce this on this channel here. So subscribe so you don't miss any of those updates. Make sure to hit that bell icon and thanks for watching. Have a nice day.